And Walter Austin, the great Walter Austin, came over and posted a lineup. It was in 1976. And my brother Andy and I go, once again, Poppy is not playing. <laughs> so we asked Mr. Austin, how come I daddy won't play? <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Mr. Olson says with deep blue eyes and that look because I need your daddy in the night day. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so right then you knew that he was right. And we're very thankful to the Dodger organization, to the whole city, about uh, so many things that have happened in our lives on and off the field here in this great city. In 1957, my father, Manuel, embarked on his lifelong dream, blessed by his mother, Fernandez Binda, to take, as a teenager, travel to a new country. The language, the customs, and as Dave was pointing out earlier, segregation. He faced it. Cities like Michigan City, Danville, Springfield, Phoenix, Rio Grande Valley, Tacoma, El Paso, and Columbus. But you know what? He never complained about it. He just went along, even though know, there are some nights when he cannot have the same meal that his other teammates were having in the same restaurant. And in 1962, that dream came true as he joined the San Francisco Giants along with his childhood idol, Willie Mays, and was able to join our fellow Dominicans like Felipe Alo and Juan Marichal. So the list goes on, a 20-year major league career with a 304 career average. Besides the Dodgers, of course, he played for the Giants. The Giants fans always around. <laughs> now, these are different Giants, not the ones that so many people dislike right now here. <laughs> <laughs> or are they? <laughs> Pittsburgh Pirates joined them, and Vary also joined one of those childhood idols, Roberto Clemente. Wow. And to this day, my dad says, just imagine, I get to the big leagues, and I first joined the Giants, Willie Mays, great teacher, great leader, and then I joined my fellow Latino, Roberto Clemente, who did so much like Jackie Robinson did for the Hispanics. From there, it was up to the Montreal Expos, and that was pretty much the bridge leading on to LA. My dad has a great anecdote about being the only player ever to pinch it for the great Willie Stargell. Just imagine, power guy, big windmill kind of swing, deposited a ball, still maybe traveling the 110 freeway and passing it. <laughs> so my dad goes out to the on deck circle and <laughs> taps Willie. Willie, oh. to the dugout. But what, man? I'm hitting for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Willie, I'm hitting for you. And I think that was the only time that ever pinch hit for Willie Stargate. He joined the Dodgers uh, as, along with Mary Wills in 1969, but before that, he had been the first player drafted by the Montreal Expos during the expansion in 1968. He was a member of the 1973 National League All-Star team, handpicked by manager Sparky Anderson, finished up with 150 career pinch hits. He did have some power. It's good play by play. <laughs> he had three home runs as a pinch hit. Is that my voice, by the way? Okay. He was also named the National League Player of the Week in the second week of September 1979. He spent 10 years as a batting coach and first base coach for the Dodgers. He appeared in five World Series, two-time world champ for the Dodgers, for the Dodgers. And um, just when he thought all the anxiety was over for us, so he retires, semi-retires and goes into coaching first base and also as the batting coach, right? We're in the ballpark. Now that's in the coaching box at first base. What happens next? Dad gets reactivated in September. <laughs> Anxiety starts to build again. <laughs> so in one of those Septembers, he actually is called by Tom Lasorda and says, Manny, coming from the coaching box, you're going to hit. And I believe Doug Sutton 
went out and coached for space. <laughs> Comes in, gets his helmet on, delivers a base hit, gets the first base, and the sort of says, we're running for you, get back to the box. <laughs> So, um, it's been such a great life, I'll tell you, we've been so blessed. And when he got reactivated, the one thing I do recall is that he still had it, and many more people started asking, Manny, when did you retire? He ended up going three for seven as a coach. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a great honor to introduce who, for so many of us, is still the best pinch hitter yes. in the history of the game. Once yeah. again, number 11, Matt Moore.